Bocce Balls Gang, the tour is upon us. Uh huh. This weekend, we're going to be in Tampa, Florida, and we're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, April 19th and April 20th. Tickets are available at areyougarbage.com. The live show is stand up and a mix of AYG. Me and the big man each do stand up, and then we answer your garbage questions. You've seen the clips, you know it's a good time. Get the homies, get the bozos, and let's party. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're good to be classy. Yeah. But they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Ace Rolly, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in a new edition on a beautiful spring day. You ain't lying. She's upstairs making a little ramen. Okay. Slow day for the broad. She's having a little lunch. <laughs> she can't have lunch. Even even celebrities are just like us, huh? Just like us. She's doing a little ramen. Yeah. She does two packs. A little hot for One ramen. One pack of seasoning. She likes it cold. Okay. She puts it in the freezer and freezes it. Okay. What are you grilling me for? Uh, I'm not. I'm just... Talk to her. Odd choice for the first nice day of the She's season. She's 40 feet away. <laughs> hot bowl of ramen. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. Uh-huh. Suspicious this week. <laughs> he is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international businessman, and he's my best pal in the whole wide world. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> what up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. Got Circle the, of trust. Got the geekies today. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Run around. Cooking. Cooking. And then, obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Patreon.com slash are you garbage? I just got new numbers in up to three bajillion hours of Woo! content over there. Man. I don't know where they're keeping it all, but goddamn. It's a lot of servers. Yes, sir. Man. How about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. Mm-hmm. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. And he's no stranger to a little doobie, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen. What up, boys? What up, T-Bone? What's up, Sparky? Sunshine and beautiful spring day. I got a question for you, fellas. Please. Hit me. Are we all too old for shorts now? And I what? Just, ki- and what kind of shorts do you even wear anymore? I what just, do you mean? No, you're not. Shorts are back in a big way. You got to go above the knee, I would say. I'm down for above the knee, but I feel like my days of the cutoff jeans shorts are, they, they got to be behind me. Why is that? I, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't disagree with this. You get to a point. He's in a weird way where he can't wear... If he wears khaki shorts like I would wear khaki shorts. Like what khaki shorts? Like, like higher, uh, you know, higher above the knee khaki shorts. Okay. It wouldn't look good. He'd be like, he'd be like, you're, you're, well, what you're, are they going to make funny in class? I mean, who gives a shit? No, you guys will make fun of me. Oh, right to my yeah, face. I mean, of course. That's part of the, that's part of, that's part of the contract. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. We're going to pull our permits. You might still, as a, you're what, 33? 34. 34. You're kind of still in that little uh, grace period. I guess maybe you too. Not grace period. I'm that, 40 and bald. That, what are you talking about? Okay, you're right. <laughs> you're out. You're not 40 yet. I mean, I'm not, I'm not 31. He's you look 40. On, he's on the bad side of 35. My eyes are falling out of my head. The good thing about getting older and being gross, right, like me, is... I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can wear Reeboks. I can wear dad shorts. I can wear fucking. Uh, but like I, we see him in basketball tops. shorts. It doesn't look right. It's not it doesn't. Great, dude. Yeah, it it looks, looks like it looks like he shit his pants in junior high, and that's <laughs> that's what the nurse gave him. You know what I mean? That was in the lost and found. It doesn't look normal. <laughs> He's got like hey, Miss McMullen. He did it again. <laughs> He's got like dress socks on with airwalks and and basketball shorts. It looks. You got to stop with the cream corn at dinner. He's killing us. Man, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I understand, and I, 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 I went out and bought some adult shorts last year. I say, live your life. Those sport shorts are nice. The ones that kind of look like bathing suits. Yeah, I don't. I'm not good in them either. And they're stretchy. Mm-hmm. I don't give I a shit. I just got a pair of cup. I'm gonna start wearing a bathing suit all the time anyway, so I don't really care. Just look at you escape from a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> you got a shirt on and floaties. That red one. You know the red bathing suit that I have. Yeah, the only bathing suit you have. I have another yeah. one. I haven't broke it out yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, <laughs> still going to lose 40 pounds to get that one out. Yeah, I um, might just start wearing that all the time with I underwear. Just get a pair of shorts. You, you, you got 30 bucks. Get a pair of shorts. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, but you could pull off a nice cargo. 
I could never. Sure. No. Because I'm fat and old and no one expects anything of you. I don't have to stay in, in fashion. I could I could really see you in high school pulling a full CD case out of your cargo shorts. <laughs> got, a, got a 64 book. I never wore shorts in high school. What am I, a fucking loser? What are you, nuts? I had a fucking repped up, Keith. Really? Shorts in high school were no good for you? Faded jeans, pair of Timberlands. But even in the, like in the, at the end of the year, like a pair, a pair of sh- shorts were... You would, you would, well, cargo you, shorts were hot when I was a you kid. You would transition over into uh, tight, jean, tight jean cutoff shorts okay. in the summer, but you had to wear that pair all throughout the year and never wash them and not give a shit, so you look cool. We're, we're, or you could do lacrosse shorts... With the boxers underneath, but the boxers had to hang down a little bit. I was gonna say those are the rules. You were doing you were doing eighty style though. Were you showing pocket? Yeah, I was showing pocket. But that's wild. Hey, tight dude. little body back then. A little piece and, of age. And, and part of your clam, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Woo, shucking oysters wee. over here, aren't you? Good lord. You gotta let the boys know. <laughs> hey boy. Party. Showing pockets wild. Bro. Hey, there's Foley. He's he's loose. <laughs> Condom tucked into my cigarette pack. <laughs> Staying out of trouble, boys. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Somehow, as a always oh, finds me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Babs from Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, dude, shit. Uh, I got something here. Um, what? There's new. Uh, as you know, we're a couple of uh, scoff lols, right? We're we're drivers in New York City. I've been clean. I haven't been riding dirty at all. I got no tickets. Well, you got no a garage nothing. now, but there's a lot. We, we've, we've had our battles Keeping with my tickets. Nose clean. I've been booted. I've been towed. My car's been stolen. I've had uh, hundreds of hundreds upon hundreds of parking tickets the, in my day. The only reason you don't have any tickets is because you've got six inches of dust on that car. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's been chilling. I had to get out of the life. <laughs> it was getting ugly. Man, I freaked out. All that shit was brutal. Looking for parking, dealing with The alternate with that. side park, the whole thing. And oh. as you know, uh, New York is is cracking down. And I don't know if you saw their... Because people get boots on their car and fucking they just drive through it. They go, I ain't paying you the fucking money. You ain't towing it. They drive away and break it off. Now, the new thing that they've... they That doesn't work. It ruins your car. Uh, whatever. The new thing they have is called the barnacle. It goes on your windshield, so you can't drive away, dude. That's like RoboCop shit. That's fucked up. Dude, they just got you. You got to have a, if, if they do that to you, you got to have a really good passenger that you, you're bonded with. Yeah, actually. <laughs> break, 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 break. That makes it easier. You could just do a fucking Ace Ventura out the window. You got to have good core strength to pull that off yeah. the whole time. Though. Or you just do what Kippy says. You rally drive it. Yeah. You got your boy soft left, soft left. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> school zone, school zone. Or fuck him. Have Satan fight show up and take the windshield off. Or you could just smash the windshield. Wind- what's a windshield? See if you can get a price on a windshield. Probably, you can probably get them real cheap. 300 bucks, I say you get a windshield. For Think Safe Flight would do that? Would they play ball? A couple of those guys show up? What do you mean? You I'm know, not even saying Safe Flight. I would just smash it. 250 bucks for a fucking new windshield. Later. And that's through Safe Flight. That's name brand. You're paying for marketing and shit. But there. that's got to be, it's got to be less to get the barnacle off. No, 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 no. That no. means you Dude, owe like they a only, G. They only barnacle you if you get. Is that uh, what it's called, by the way? That's what they're the NYPD barnacle, they're calling it. What the Horrible fuck? marketing department down there. Must be the same guys that came up with that dance team. We're gonna put of muscles ago. on your car. <laughs> 185 bucks to get it off. To get it off. Yeah. To have someone come out and get it off. To yeah. Yeah. I saw. I saw. Yeah, but no, that's. But that's not af- your fees. That's after you pay the fines and fees. You, so your fines. That's what I'm saying. Your fines could be like I got to, uh, mine. Mine cost me well over a thousand dollars to get it out. That I didn't. I had to borrow the money from a friend. So it's like, it's a thousand dollars, or I could smash my windshield. They charge you for the barnacle though. What's that? Like Two G's? It, yeah, probably if you if you don't return it or whatever. Just That's take it to a hospital and put it in the front and pull away. Like you do with one, <laughs> like, one like, a blow, like a gunshot victim? <laughs> yeah. I saw, a note I saw a video about this on ways to remove it. You turn your windshield like the, the defroster, you blast that, Ooh. heats it up, and then hopefully can create an air pocket, and then you get in there with a credit card. But it's like a real bitch. I mean, those those things are like. What is it? Sticky? Yeah, yeah it's like, like suction. It's like key, like like uh, like. They have gi- they have giant Spider Man suction cups. You can climb a building with these things. It's just hmm. on there, dude. 
You got to be able to get that off. If I, I'm smashing my windshield and just paying two fifty for a new windshield, out the door. How you doing? I know Dr. Rubinoff's got an auto glass guy. He'll, he'll tune you up right right quick. Or just pay the fines and move on with your life. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> You're going to have to pry this money out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> you want your fucking bar to go back? I got to pay Easy Pass, which doesn't make any fucking sense. I got to pay Easy Pass by April 28th or they're suspending my registration. Cheat your registration? Yeah. Why? The state of New York. Because I owe money to Easy Pass, but I have Easy Pass, and they have my credit card information. So I don't understand how. Um, if I owe them money, bill me. What? And what? I only owe you money for. I'm not like going to the gift shop and buying Easy Pass shit. You I killed, only owe you for the tolls. You killed somebody, didn't you? <laughs> they got you something. <laughs> they got, they got, that ain't good. They, they, they got they got the fucking jump on the kid. Your registration. Yeah. That doesn't sound right. And that's right. going to be something I forget. I'm telling you that now. I ain't good with paperwork. You're going to get it, snagged going through the tunnel, right? Well, dirty. Well documented. Not good with paperwork. Bad news. Um, Yeah, but that's neither here nor there, gang. We got a gosh darn family episode yes, on Yes, we hands. do. Uh, as you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, where there's up to three bajillion hours of content, you'll get your question read on the air. Mm -hmm. uh, and that being said, let's get into it. This one... I can't believe this hasn't come across our desk in the past, whatever, three and a half, four years it's been. Talk to me. This is from Kyle, $10 bozo, longtime listener. Are you garbage if you use Cheez-Its as croutons in a salad? Ooh. Don't hate it. I and feel it's, like I might have come across that once or twice. Really? Yeah. Like in the wild, you're saying? No, I think I did it. That salad has ranch dressing. Hella bacon bits, not made from bacon. <laughs> hey, hard boiled eggs and wet ham. No, I used to do saltines. I'm sorry. When I was, I in, can get down with that. Too, when I, I was think. in North Carolina, up against it, I used to get bags of salad. You know, the salad that had like a little bit of carrot and a little I, bit of purple. I I hate that. <laughs> hate that stuff. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh man, it's like a goddamn rainfall. It's wet in there. Mm -hmm. I'd get that soggy carrot shreds, balsamic uh, vinegar. Oil, bunch of fucking uh, crisp um, saltines and Parmesan shake cheese, like the cheap. I'll give you that. It made it work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I crave that. Sure. Yeah. I remember one time I was really down and out in Philly, real down and out, and I made. I had white rice and barbecue sauce, <laughs> and for some reason, man, I think about that bowl. <laughs> I go back to that of not having instant a instant rice too, oh, right? Oh, not having a care in the world, baby. Just going because I remember being so broke and looking at my thing, being like, "I got nothing." And it, that bowl meant so much to me. It, uh, there was just pure. You can't tell me shit. He used my to, cell phone was shut off. I was behind on rent. You used to love your your, your dinners when you come home from work at the Ooh. Titan House in Philly. Kippy whip up a little butter noodles. Oh, Ooh. I couldn't tell me nothing. Get a little fucking people's court in. For, <laughs> before, I swear to God, before we head off into the night. <laughs> I, he had, I'd come home from work. He had been there all day just <laughs> just hanging. No shirt on. What's up? What are you doing? Huh? How was work? You got smokes on you? <laughs> Number one question. Waiting for him to come yeah. home. You got smokes? And you had to wait till after he ate. Oh, yeah. Otherwise. Uh Crude. <laughs> you be very hurtful when he's hungry. Oh, Kimmy gets a little hangry. Gets real tight with the Ooh. cigs. This kid a Snickers. Well, he's bar, been right? he's been fucking loafing around my house all day. I come home and I I'm on his schedule. No, 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 no. I cleaned up. <laughs> Your mess. <laughs> ah, cheese it's That's nice though. But Would they because it gives you a little bit of cheese. They they got a uh, listen. They I'd got wanna, a little deeper. I'd want to crunch them up. Yeah, I think you'd have to you'd break them up at a least bit. half piece. Now, hear me out on this: cheese that's in like a like a chowder or something like that. Sure. Is, instead of the, uh, I'm with it. The oyster crackers or the regular crackers. Yeah, I can get down with that. I like an oyster cracker. Yeah, they're good. They have the perfect amount of salt on them. It's like three or four grains of salt, perfectly positioned. Same thing with the cheese. It they do a real good job with the salt placement. See, I mean, cheese it has to be. Ah, it's the way it's what it's it's my fave i hands down my fave salads are big these days too they're chopping them up everyone's chopping them up <laughs> just, like, i mean you were i i do have to give it to you you said that you, everything should be chopped up and now a lot of stuff is being chopped up see you said that in the old studio i did yeah the sandwiches you are as fat as you look i'll give you that <laughs> i'm an innovator <laughs> a time traveler
Um, but yeah, I'm from with six that. Six months that's from now. Tr- that's trashy. <laughs> that is trashy, but hey, pretty man. good. I got I to gotta give it to you. Do it. Mm-hmm. You nuts. Uh-huh. I only live once, baby. <laughs> Here for a good time, not a long time. Let's uh, go. This one's from Jake, $10 shareholder. Uh, is it garbage to call half and half 50-50? <laughs> as in A-yo past the 50-50. That's pretty good. The 50 50. Uh, I'm down. That I'm sounds gonna, like oil. I'm going to start calling Cream 5 0, though. Oh, pass me the 5 0. That's good. I thought half and half was trashy. That's the name. Who did I ask for half and half and they didn't know? Ireland. Oh, yeah. And that became a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Two mean people staring each other down. Are uh, you asking for half and half and then it's you inside of an embassy with a crowd of angry locals <laughs> <laughs> screaming? Fellas. <laughs> I'll what, do milk. What is half and half? Half cream, half milk? Half cream, half milk, dog. Oh, never thought of that. Oh, great on cereal. I'll tell you that. I've said it before. I'll say we it again. We were only, I don't think we ever had, we were a half, we were a Wawa half and half. Sure, that's, always half and half. Still. No one does cream. Nah, Nisi's a half. Get, I got to run to the store and get half and half. Sure, a little little banger. A little, little banger, half and half. Yeah, and if you had no milk, man, that would hit the spot in the bowl of cereal. Which I don't know how much worse it is for you than milk. You give that a goog? What? Cream? Half cream. I mean, yeah, cream is fattier than it's fifty percent more fattier. Is it? Uh, oh. Uh, than milk. It's higher in fat but lower in sugar. Ah, they, well, half and half or cream? Half and half. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Lower your sugar. <laughs> Use half and half. Um <laughs> the fattest life hack of all time. <laughs> that way to go. <laughs> 50-50. That sounds like a raffle. It does. That's what I thought it was. he was referencing at first, but that's pretty good. Ayo, pass. I didn't understand it until the Ayo, pass the half in here. <laughs> like, damn. Sounds like you're in my kitchen right yeah, now. Yeah, to 50-50. Kip, let's talk about Helix Mattress. Shout out to Helix. Zzz. Helix Mattress. Mm-hmm. Either way, it's a good night's sleep. It's a great night's we, sleep. We got one. We different ones. We have two. We yeah, have two, yeah, two yeah. different ones. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gang, if you're tired of tossing and turning all night with a Helix mattress, you'll be sleeping like a baby. Mm-hmm. These mattresses are top of the line with 20 different options to choose from, whether you sleep on your back, on your side, on your stomach. You'll always stay comfortable. Yeah. Helix don't let you down, baby. Uh-huh. It's it's super easy. Uh, if you want a little help picking the right mattress for you, just take the Helix take sleep the quiz. quiz. Let their experts match you. I was lined up with the Twilight model. I, re- I recommend the quiz. Sorry to cut you off. Yes. Of course, do yeah. it. It's, it takes two minutes. Bada bing, bada boom. I go, hey, this is how you do it. This is good for you. Out the door. Uh, since the best way to test out a mattress is to sleep on it in your own bed, in your own house, Helix even has a 100-night trial at and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Customer service just don't get any easier or better than that. Right now, Helix is offering a 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our for our you garbage listeners. Nice. Go to helixsleep.com slash garbage and use code helixpartner20. That's helixsleep.com slash garbage. This is their best offer yet. It won't last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. Do it. Do it. Kip, let me tell you about that Mint Mobile. Shout out to Mint Mobile. Do you like that, Ryan Reynolds? Love him. Tight, huh? piece, tight little bod on Good him. Good-looking kid. Makes a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. All right, he wouldn't steer you wrong. Nope. Gang, do yourself a favor. Stop paying all those big prices for those big policies. Yeah. You're paying for the brick and mortar. You're paying for the brick and mortar. I Mint ain't Mobile. Got, ain't nobody got that kind of cash laying around. Mint Mobile for a limited time. All Mint Mobile wireless plans, $15 a month when you purchase the three months plan. That's a total steal right there. Ryan Reynolds wouldn't lie to you, baby. <laughs> All plans come with high-speed data, data, however you want to pronounce it, unlimited talk, text, all delivered on a nation's largest 5G, 5G. network. I said 5G. it once. I said it two, three bajillion times. My wife, has been a, my wife has been a Mint Mobile user for, gosh, six years at this point. And a Ryan Reynolds fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, stop wasting your money for overpriced phone plans and make the switch to Mint Mobile. To get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 beans a month, Ooh. go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. Hmm. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes and fees. Restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Check it out. There you go. All right, let's see here. This one's from Jimbo Slice. Are you garbage if your mother's second marriage was in your living room? Ew. It was by the sliding door and officiated by my step-grandpa. 
or my step grandma. P.S. It was my stepdad's third marriage. I think you gotta. Oh, I don't know. The way I look at that. That's also, hey, have your fun. You're living in this mess. You're you're okay with getting signing up and getting divorced. Uh, you're, you're in it. She's I, she's in jeans, but still has the tiara on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dressed like she's on a bachelorette party or oh, something. Yeah. Half a Burger King uniform. <laughs> Talk about a half and half. <laughs> Uh, I think that's appropriate. I think that's a responsible decision for a third marriage. Mm-hmm. Why, you know, you can only have probably 10 people there. Why drag everybody into it? Why bring a bunch of people out when they know it ain't going to work out? Mm-hmm. Do it in the living room. Sure. Let's get back to work. <laughs> You're doing it on break. <laughs> right there. <laughs> the dominoes will be here in 10 minutes. Grandma just head right in the kitchen, right through that sliding door, make some dinner. Mm-hmm. That's it. Hey. Yeah. Get a good night's sleep. And we're back at it. Sure. P- plenty of promises been broken in that living room. Oh, sure. What's, one, what's one more? What's one more? Exactly. Why to tell the kids? I mean, the TV was on while they were doing it. <laughs> it was muted. In respect for the Lord. We put Judge Judy on mute. Goddamn game on, Earl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, listen. This one's from Chris. What did your what did your dads claim their sports accolades were? My dad once told me that during his eighth grade football season, he got tackled a total of zero times and scored 63 touchdowns in five games. <laughs> Dude, what a flex to, to claim you've that never... That would have been on the news. You've never been tackled. That's crazy. Never once been tackled. They call me the grease man. Oh, that's great. But there is a world... That that never happened. I don't know. Not tackled? I'll give them 63 touchdowns in five games. 63 though. touchdowns that's, in five games. How many is that? That's nine a game. <laughs> no, that's 11 a game. Or 11 would be 55. That's just him, too. That's over 12 touchdowns a game. That's pretty good. The only way I could see that being real is if he was held back and he was huge. <laughs> he, was, he was 19. He was huge for his size. <laughs> held back? You can't hold this guy. You can't tackle him. What are you sure. talking can't about? can't get hands on him to hold him back. I don't believe this guy was ever held back. Oh, that's funny. My dad was a, uh, My dad was a big, uh, really relived or bragged about his heyday of uh, semi-pro football. Mm. Did he play for the Contra Hawk and Steelers? No, he played for the Somerton Spartans. <laughs> Hell of a squad over there. (laughs) Which, like... Are you aware of this? Do you know this exists? I think we were born. I don't know how old he was when this... Because he talks like it was last week. Like, he he would still talk like it was last season. See if you can get... Are they still doing semi-pro in Philly? I believe they are. I know the Conchahawk and Steelers. And when your dad would have been... My boy did it. So this would have been... He's my age. This would have been late 70s, early 80s, probably. It was serious business back then. Oh, practice. And man. <laughs> Talk about dirt <laughs> ball. Oh, yeah, dude. Man. Probably playing in cutoff jean shorts dude, and shit. guys looking to hurt people. Uh-huh. Hurt people. It's, uh, I mean, that uh, to me, and as a kid, when you hear semi-pro, in my head... That's one, You're step, one step away from one, the Eagles. One step away from the no, birds. No. In my head. No. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, and I'm like, well, why have we never been to a Summerton Spartans no. game? You're you know two two if, steps away. If you were such a star, why, why don't they give you the hero's welcome? And yeah. we go we go get fucking you know, well, well, we should be on the field of a game at least. You're two steps away from County Lockup. Because <laughs> I've been to a Contra Hawk and Steelers game. Really? Shout out to them. <laughs> They've got to play like a high school, right? They would run me over. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're like good athletes that are looking to hard. Like, they're, ath- they're athletic. I don't, I don't think their their grades were up there. <laughs> no. right? What do you got, T-Bone? Uh, it's it's now a – the Summerton Spartans are now a youth football team. Ah. Ages 5 to 14. My dad's still playing. <laughs> That's how he didn't get tackled. 87 touchdowns. I believe it was the games. Summerton Spartans, yeah. Can Is you it Google- coming up as anything as semi-pro? I got – all I got on – I got – I got uh, the Great Eastern Football Association, an eight-man semi-pro league here in PA that currently has four teams scattered throughout Central and Eastern Four PA. teams? Fourteen. Fourteen teams. Scattered <laughs> is a nice... Is one of them the Contra Hawk and Steelers? Let me find out. Contra Hawk and Steelers. Good God, there's oh, so many leagues. No, it's over, I think. It's over? The co- uh, memories of Contra Hawkins professional football teams. Oh, this professional was, football. This is from the. This is from 1919, though. This ain't right. 1919. <laughs> How old was your boy? <laughs> <laughs> he got held back a couple of years. Uh, damn, they had a 19 and 0 season. 
in 1919? When I, when I went and saw him, it was a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> it was dudes, 1920. It was the middle of the Depression. Dudes were out there. It was like right after work. There was nobody there except for like a couple of baby mamas and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And man, it looked... It did not look like a warm oh, environment. Holy shit, 2018. The gotcha. rebirth of the franchise is upon us. Uh-oh. We're looking for players and coaches. Contact Henry. All right. Uh, for the contract and Steelers? Yeah, that was 2018. The what return of the field in 2018. Tryouts are something. We should see if we we should at least try out for a semi-pro no, football No, try team. out. We get hurt. I'd want to be ownership. I'd imagine. Let's the, look into buying a team. Sure. Wait, the returns can't be. You're not making your money on ticket prices. You better hope concessions are banging. That's the merch split. Yeah, it wasn't really a big draw when I was there. I'd imagine the pace of play was quite slow. It was. Dudes were getting hurt left and right. They were just fucking going after each other. Helmets down. Just some guy pissed off from work. Some UPS driver that got yelled at that day. Well, fuck somebody up. Just screaming. So it was the Seaboard Football League, now defunct. Ah, they went under, huh? There was a bunch of teams. Wilkes-Barre, the Giants, Scranton Eagles, Conchahawk and Steelers. Yeah, the Seaboard Football Team. It was all like the Eastern Seaboard. Sure. Like the Northeast. Or so. The Seaboard League. Damn. We could bring it back. Become thousandaires. That's <laughs> <laughs> a, a great way to lose eight grand. <laughs> <laughs> All businesses lose money forever. How the Milky Way sales at the snack bar? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got to get slushy numbers up. <laughs> and stop drinking a half and half. Ah, uh, damn. That's great. It's rough. Uh, all right. Let's see here. This one's from R. Wags. Is it garbage if your parents save the measuring cups from the Robitussin bottle to use as shot glasses for their holiday parties? That's all right. I don't know what I would do if someone handed me a shot in a Robitussin glass. An adult at that. Take it. Uh, that's that's like. Get a nice pop and hit nah, the couch. That's like Jonestown shit. I think I'm taking a nap. Oh, if I look yeah. around, we're all wearing the same shoes. Oh, I'm- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, dude. I'm out. Uh, the medical implications of that, yeah. It's got a pill next to it. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. Oh, we never used that thing anyway in the Foley household. It was a lot of eyeballing. Yeah. Oh, a lot of swigging. Yeah, and it was always a little more than you should. You know what I really like? Get that in you. (laughs) Get some of that tussing in you. Yeah, Patty was never, when it comes to that stuff, it would take two. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, take a couple more. Always, with with everything. I like the one uh, we had for a long time. I think it was more for children, but I banged with it probably past I should have. It was the tube with the, sp- it was like a spoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Was fucking weirdo. That was all right. I felt like I was doing shooters at Keenan's. <laughs> <laughs> doing those like pre-mixed shots. Nah, I didn't like that. I like the, I like right out of the bottle. No. Shake it up. I was always Pop in the. In. The McFlurry spoon? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You very know what similar. I'm talking about? That yeah. was an 80s thing, I feel. <laughs> yeah. I don't think, I don't, I haven't seen one of them around. It's like, the, it's like the medical, it's like the cousin who got its medical degree of the sponge with the handle attached. Yes. <laughs> with the soap yeah. inside. Which, the first, dude, the first time I saw that, I was. What, the soap inside? Yeah. My stepdad had it when he, it was before they were married, they were dating. We went to his townhouse. Classy operation. <laughs> also found out he had a bullet. That was the first time I found out he had a bulletproof vest. I Why? put it on. It was I don't know. I was going through his shit. Who knows what he Wait, was? Wait, who is this? My stepdad. Oh yeah, yeah. I I thought it was uh, I thought it was a life vest, so I put it on, and I was like, dude, how could you swim in this thing? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like an old lead one. You know what I mean? It was like he's like, that's a bulletproof vest. I was like, all right, I'll listen to you. Like, you know, Why would he have that? Man. A fucking cowboy. What do you <laughs> Jesus mean? Jesus Christ. Winston case smoking, sh- NASCAR driving, fucking. In case the shit goes down. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. He was the kind of guy who was prepared for things. Yeah, in case he needed to win the world's gnarliest bet. Yeah. Wait, so you had. You, that's the first time you saw it was there? The, he had it. Really? Yeah, he had it. And I remember. I, I remember. Gra- I re- my brother was upstairs. I ran to get my brother and was like. Wait till you see because they're clear and you see the clear. liquid yeah, the inside. The green soap it looks like it's glowing. And we were like, "You tilled it, and it come I, fucking mind blown." Give it a couple of too many pumps. pumps. Yeah, get that real soap. Never in. once changed the sponge. No, no, gross. Yeah, gross. we had one. We had one probably up until 
two months ago, we we banged with one for like a couple of couple of months or whatever it was. That's the kind of technology that you look at and you're like, man, we're gonna be all right. Yeah. You know, the I've ingenuity. Had that, I've, I've had that three times. One, the first one was something similar where it was uh, you get it at you would get them at Cosmetic World. Do you remember Cosmetic World or no. were they gone? They were in our area. They were like huge, like in our area. Like uh, <laughs> <laughs> are they cosmetic the spray of the area? <laughs> of the area. Um, they had like brushes. It was it was all like chick stuff. Yeah, I mean, I picked up on what okay. Cosmetic World is. What the fuck? <laughs> Hamburgers are good. Uh, yeah, what are they selling used car parts? I'd go there with my older cousins and my aunts on like a Friday night. Ah, oh, it was great. The whole place smelled like perfume. Woo wee! Um, it was the brush with the hairspray uh, at the other end. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that. R- what brush with hairspray? That's a brush, on the and and the handle was hollow, and it had, had hairspray pump, and you could pour it in, and then and then brush your hair. That. And then this is pretty recently, but in like uh, Windex and stuff like that, instead of having the little straw go all the way down and you can never get the stuff on the bottom, uh huh, they tape it to the they stick it to the side of the thing and it goes all the way down and goes in. Pretty good. Well, we could do all that. We'll be all right. You, we'll get, th- you we'll would get think, through this. Let where are those guys? Put those They're guys millionaires. on. Millionaires. Put those guys on something. Let those guys run the world. They don't need Straighten that. Straighten everybody out. They got all fucking sponge money. They're not. They're, they're not innovating It'd anymore. It'd be nice if they did their duty to society. Sure. They're obviously geniuses. Sure. I think they have. They're saving up time for everybody. It's true. <laughs> that would your cabinet, if you were the president, would be unbelievable. I would get guys that are straight shooters. <laughs> I would get guys that are straight shooters. I would get a lot of guys that didn't want to do it. Bryce Harper would be your de- minister of defense. See this guy? <laughs> he don't want you to have the this money. This guy knows something about offense. Yeah, maybe Schwarber. I don't know about Harper. Can't go losing Harper. Schwarber's an attack man. I'd keep Harper around just for just for a little eye candy. Just for staring purpose. <laughs> for first, harassment purpose. He'd be the first gentleman. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you got to get guys that don't want to do it. Sure. Um, All right, this one's from Pain Eater. Um, (laughs) Is it trashy to keep the school picture order form hanging on your fridge all year because you couldn't afford the actual pictures? The school picture order form. Remember you had to fill it out and put like the $22 or $9, whatever package you ordered Mm -hmm. was in an order form. He's saying they never had the money to order to actually get the pictures. Was there ever a way around that, like with the watermark or anything like that? Could you screw over the picture guy? Probably with a pair of scissors. Remember how militant that was? Oh, the man, way yeah, they would, I, You would have thought you were buying life insurance. The, with the, with like, the way they would do it. The way they would like bring you in. Mm-hmm. It's like they were taking you to the buses or something like that. Interrogating you or something. Yeah. They'd line you up like 15 at a time. You'd have like three seconds to get the look. And the photographer no. get mad at you? It's like, buddy. Yeah. This is... This and is your year, dickhead. This didn't pan out. Listen, this you, you didn't Spectre get into the radio shack you, after this. You didn't get into photography to take my picture of my fucking dumbass. All right, man, Just fucking play ball, will you? Don't get my good side. No hair and makeup, nothing. Mm-hmm. You get a fan on, get some flow going. Yeah, I never took a good picture. I th- that's the best that it's ever gotten. And well, it those was were, never th- those were a little different. That was your graduation class, picture. Yeah. yeah, same with me. Mine was. Take I have a little time. A, I have a couple of good ones from that. I think he might have done a little makeup on me, a little touch up. Really? I think. Yeah, I had something. I had like a cut or something, and he, he fucking kissed me or something. I forget what piece he did. Piece of pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on to that, will you? Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, this is from Peanut Butter Man. Never had one read. Is it garbage if someone's lips move when they read? Yes, I told you. Uh, did we do that? You said you read out loud. I was try. I was when Stone was here. I was trying to. I I was trying to start to read, and I could only read out loud. But I also wanted to hear how it sounded. Table of continents. Oh, I hate that. Um, all that bullshit. My lips read a, a little bit. Well, I'll putter. It definitely. You know. Um, it's a sign of unintelligence. Sure. That, not much just for sure. Sure. I wish I was a reader. This is. Have you ever had a conversation? Uh, we have a buddy that does this where you talk to them and they try to get, you can see them guessing the word you're going to say with your mouth. I've only ever met a handful of people that have done this. That's, got, Ryan, that's got Ryan D written it's all over not, it. It's not. It's not. It's yeah. one of our friends that loves trains. No, it's not. You'll be like, yeah, so then I was going and he's looking at you going. I'm like. 
hey, buddy, this isn't a fucking goddamn competition here. Let me tell you my fucking, let me tell you my subway story. Is it me? No. Do I know? You're not smart enough to do that. Yeah, do you I know. know? Yeah. You won't say his name? Not, a, not, not, not for public consumption. Uh, initials? No. First name? <laughs> Henry. First, <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> uh, that happens in acting sometimes. You see uh, kid actors do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're, they're saying m- most notable in Talladega Nights that I've watched 10,000 times before I had cable in my room. That was what I would go to bed to every night. And the redheaded kid does it heavy. Oh, he does? Oh, I heavy, never noticed it. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Huh. It's the first time I think I've ever noticed it. Yeah. Do keep it down. Someone's going to get smacky uh, in the uh, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Come at you like a spider monkey, Chip. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. This is from Josh. $10 Canadian homie. Shout out to the fucking, our friendly neighbors up north. Of course. Uh, is it trash if you found out your father was a convict, convicted murderer and served time while you and him got pulled over? Ooh. So they got pulled over, and how does that come out? That can't be like, Canadian law must be wonky. I don't think you can walk up and be like, you're the Toby McMullen from the fucking Jenkins homicide. He, you know had, I mean? he had done his time, though. I guess. And also, how did I, they might have lied to him and said, you know. Are you the Summerton Slaughter? Yeah. <laughs> God <laughs> they damn, lied, boy. Might have lied to him and said his dad was serving time for stealing an NYPD barnacle or something, you know. Yeah. But whatever it is, I mean, that ain't classy. No, that's a rough. That's a, that, that's a rough look. It's a, that's a quiet, com- quiet, quiet car ride home. Yeah, you don't want to piss him off. This guy's got blood on his hands. He's willing to. You did it once. You're willing to do it again. Go home and get that room clean, son. <laughs> that's whatever happened to my older brother? Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't lose him in Toronto. Um. All right. This one's from Joe. Are you garbage? If your missus is more handy than you, her pops was an electrician. <laughs> Um, that's a keeper right there. I wouldn't say, yeah, no, I think that's great. Uh, my wife isn't more handier, th- isn't handier than me. She's more motivated for sure. So she ends up spearheading a lot of the things because I'm very much, and I've realized about it myself. It's it ain't it ain't. I'm tomorrow, the next day, and it's like, man, I've been saying that for six weeks or six months at this point. I, I get- love a handy lady. Yeah, pull, start pulling some fucking weight around here. I think the bird is handier than me. Or she just has more patience and just does things better. I always... I a- wouldn't paint you as handy. No, no, not at all. Yeah. And I'm going to fuck it up. It's going to sure. be crooked. It's going to be whatever. And there's going to be a lot of anger that goes into it. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a lot of yelling and a lot... Fuck! God! Yeah, you're not handy. Thumsy, maybe. Thumsy. <laughs> very thumsy. Yeah, yeah, I can get it up there. But it's going to be all fucked up. And I'm going to be bitching about it the whole time. A lot of dropping stuff. Dropping screws. Man, I hate dropping screws. <laughs> Brutal. You ever see a guy just rrr, 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 knock it all in at once? Mm-hmm. I remember I, I remember. I was shocked. I saw a guy named uh, Pete. No, it wasn't Ducky. Rudy. Dicky. A guy named Dicky. Ducky was my neighbor. Dicky was a guy who worked for the guy across the street from me. Okay. And I saw him... One shot, a hammer and nail, all like a long bolt, like bam, man. in, and I was like, "That's, that's a man's man." Woo! Drywall nail? No, like a big like lumber nail, like it was like two by four into two by four, like Whoa. bam. And that's I, what I meant. Yeah, blew my fucking, blew my tits. <laughs> if, off. if I saw a guy do that, I put on an apron and get him some lemonade. <laughs> 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 TV I, done in a few minutes, Diggy. I do, be, I do declare. <laughs> I'll wait out in the car for you, Dickie. <laughs> well, if it isn't the most eligible bachelor in all six counties. <laughs> I wish I was that nail. I wish you were banging me. Uh, yeah, I don't have any, I, like I've, I've said before, like I'm handy and ish. Like I can get the job done, but it's a bad job. It don't look right. I'm, and I've, I've slowly realized I'm just pay a handyman to do it or in, somebody in, who's more educated in the world than me. In my blue collar experience, I was never like in the, you charge. Were, you were never the Finnish guy. No. Yeah. You no. were the laborer. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Hand the tools, clean out the, all the shit that the electricians left mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Never. Right, not even like. I guess I cut stuff, which I was pretty good at. It's pretty good on the saw. Sure. 
I, the, yeah, I mean, so was I. So we, we used to have to make like uh, hangers to hang pipes. So it's like the all like we have. It's like all. It looks like a big long screw, but they're like six feet long, and you have to cut those. Man, and it has to like when you're like hang, when pipes get being hung, it's got to fall at a certain degree. Mm-hmm. So like the water naturally moves through or whatever. Man, and I remember fucking everything up by like three eighths of an inch and just like dude I, it was it was probably like eight thousand dollars in man hours that i fucked <laughs> my dad's like get the fuck off the side i was like jesus christ fucking ran and hit in the car had some chicken tendies for lunch <laughs> i'll be back to sweep up in a little bit i remember that one time i got caught and i was in my mom's car working for my dad and i had this i thought it i was I thought it was lunchtime you i was under, i was under the impression the boys were taking lunch dude and we were working uh we were working at a supermarket like doing something and uh some construction and i was on the side of the supermarket which you know like no one parks on the side of the supermarket what were you doing what, what how come you weren't working with them Something that we might have been waiting on a delivery or some. I don't His know. tenders were getting cold. There, there was, what do you think? Whenever there was a situation, they just dropped a bag of fucking of tendies and potato wedges. Really? Oh man, who did? The guys that were making the ten, the people at the thing at the grocery store, supermarket. Yeah. Oh, they hooked you guys up. No, it was like they put it up front to be like, okay, here it's lunchtime. Uh huh. To sell. Oh. Like they were stocking the rotisserie oh, chicken. Oh. Can, oh. So Pace. you went up and bought and I, lunch? Yeah. I went a, through the line and everything? Oh, yeah, you You're got it. You working there? Yeah. I had a couple. I had a few. Whatever. There was some downtime. And I remember sitting in I, I sitting in my sitting in my mom's car, I believe it was. Just couldn't. T- I had the AC cooking. I had my tunes on. And I'm fucking. I'm going to the town on this bag of chicken fingers and a bag of potato wedges and a screaming cold coke. And I'm the only car on the side of the building. You know what I mean? And, and I'm parked in like the middle. And I turn around. I look out the, and I catch my dad at the back just being like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, I was fucking, oh, what music like, you're fucking eating? Chicken tenders? You got five. Oh, man. That's when you just look and hit the door lock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right I'll back see you snacking. tomorrow morning. <laughs> right back to snacking, dude. <laughs> that fucking eating chicken tenders. I'm paying you. What am I paying you for? <laughs> fucking Steve's over here waiting. Yeah. Cause I, I was, yeah, I was. Bad. Did you say I thought it was lunch? <laughs> yeah, uh, he just, yeah, he wasn't. He's not a real negotiable guy when you know that, what that stuff means, ha- though. What double lunch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lunch is in twenty minutes. Ah, oh, okay, ah. all right. I'll be back for my tendies. <laughs> yeah, man, ain't right. nothing better than a bag of chicken tenders in my book. Not I, too shabby. I oh, love it. Um, all right, this one's from Richard C. This is a bit of this is a little bit of a story. Is it garbage to give a hand-me-down as a gift? Recently went to a close friend's son's fifth birthday, and we gifted him our kid's old bike. This was a nice kid's bike from REI that was like $300 new. I like how he's really getting into the... <laughs> it was like 300 probably 250 mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I've, I've spun a yarn in my day. Also, who gets a bike at an REI? It's where you get kayaks and stuff. I think they probably have mountain. I would assume. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they have like good mountain, mountain bikes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This was a nice kid's bike from REI that was like $300 new. This guy's really throwing in adjectives. I cleaned it up to look almost new, but right when the kid saw it, he said, this looks old. <laughs> That's a tough. I don't think you should. I mean, getting called out by a five-year-old on your gift at a party, man. Tough luck. Listen, what's you, the call there? I don't, I don't have kids. I don't know. No, I'm, the call's no. Listen, the call is you take the brake lines off, you paint the frame, and then you're in the clear. I'll give what? you that. Why? Because you, you nice new paint job. They're gonna be able to tell it's old. Sure, nice thing to be able to paint it like nice like that with spray paint or something at the house. Where's he gonna get the paint job done? And why are you cutting the brake lines? You're not cutting them. You got to take, take them, them off. off. You can't paint the brakes. You're not setting this kid up to crash into a dumpster or go off a cliff or something. Oh, okay. Um, you won too many Columbos on this guy. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> this kid won't say shit when he's down the ravine. <laughs> what? Just buy a movie ticket. Anybody ask you at the movies? No, it's a tough. He did this? Yeah. 
Uh, listen. Here's the thing, man. Get him a cheaper gift. Yeah, you don't got to spend that gift. kind of money. Yeah. Get him a fucking G.I. Joe. Shut him up. A couple weeks later, go over with the bike. Hey, Timmy's done with this. And or sell the bike. You know what I mean? You can yeah. sell the bike. If it's, you know, the 300, you can get, I don't know, on Facebook, you can get 70 bucks, 80 bucks, 100 bucks for it or whatever. That's a no occasion gift. Hey, I got this old bike. Thought you would want it. Yeah, I, because the, I, especially now, I think with the availability of toys and deli- like everything, I don't think kids are getting used shit like that. No. Back in the day, yeah. for sure. But I think now it's like everything's so much cheaper and readily available that it's like, give me, like, that kid's probably never got a used present like that before. So he's of course like, not. That's called him out on it. Giving me old shit. I'd probably yeah. say the same thing. I tell you what, you want a piece of cake? Get the old cake from last year. Here, here <laughs> you go, <laughs> buddy. Here you go. You like old shit? <laughs> yeah, that ribbon's new though. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's a tough look. That's embarrassing. <laughs> you gotta. Fu- I would have. I would have started throwing hundreds at the kid to shut him up. Sure. Hey, zip it there, fucking alfalfa. I cleaned it out. Well, God love you for making the effort. Yeah, yeah. I think you learned your lesson though, in the sense of you know, buy him something for forty bucks new and yeah. say, hey, here you go. You come by a week later and give him the bike. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see here. This is from Jennifer. Shout out to a lady, homie. Mm. Is it garbage to have a blanket with wolves on it that I bought at the flea market hanging on the wall as decor? Whoa. Those are the stereotypical. You got to move a lot of weight. A lot of bug. Sure. Yeah. To have that hanging. I was going to say, that's accompanied by a real nice bong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like Humboldt County shit, I feel. That's like that's like Pacific Northwest or South or something. Long handmade skirts. Yeah. And my thing with that, too, that's probably a cozy blankie. You're wasting that on the wall. Get that down. I wash mean, it about 5,000 times. She bought it used at a flea market. It's already. Oh, is that why you're saying wash it 5,000 times? No, I was saying wash it 5,000 times if it was new to get it nice and worn in. I don't think I could use that. Use a blanket I bought at the flea market. After you wash it, make I, it I, yours. I don't think so. Oh. I really don't think I can. I love those couch blankets. That blanket's dirty, but that acid's clean, man. Uh, <laughs> a little sunshine. <laughs> I slept on the couch last night wrapped up in uh, the couch blankets. Uh-huh. Oh, like, couch blanket. Yeah, I'm saying. Use like two uh, or three of them because they don't really fit my whole body. Get one between my legs. Get one over me. I'm all about that. Other people's couch blankets that are selling it at a... F- Listen, I don't trust that guy who's got to stand at a flea market. I don't trust what that where that blanket's been. Hmm. I you t- got to take into account this guy's whole personality. He's getting up on a Tuesday morning, going to a flea market, selling a, a thing. I, uh, no, thank you. I had to throw my couch blanket away recently. Why? Oh, God. I, because it had been. It's enough to. <laughs> it was, there, was, there was no coming back. Should have hung it on the wall. Why? Because it's just, it's, it's not getting washed. You're not going to wash it? I was, nah, you couldn't. Mr. Clean couldn't fix that Would thing. Would you kill somebody on it? Jesus Christ. I think he's talking about semen. Oh. <laughs> no, I, wasn't, I was not. I was not. Jacqueline. I was <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't painting this, this thing. This man is a pervert. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's watching what you your, were doing. No, it was videos. just. It was just thinking. I've been sitting in it, farting in it for two years. You could wash that. You couldn't wash The only that. time you can't wash it. Is when you're slapping the ham. No ham was that what slapped. you were doing over there? Just honey bake that thing. <laughs> Probably buck naked in your apartment. Put the cat in the kitchen. Don't look at me. All right, this one I'm not even really sure about, and I know my uh, I'm well versed in scams and keeping the plate spinning. But is it gar? This is from Brendan. Is it garbage if you buy something on a credit card to pawn it off because payday is two weeks away and you're strapped for cash? Now, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's. You buy something on a credit card mm-hmm. in the sense that you don't have the cash, mm-hmm. but I will have the cash. I, this bill's not due for 30 days. Right. You then take said item mm-hmm. to pawn shop. I want to pawn this. And you get, they'll go, we'll give you 100 bucks cash. Now, how does that work? With I never pawned. So I've th- sold. Yeah, so what, uh, what pawning is, they give you a loan and the product is collateral. So if you go with a watch... Say you have a thousand dollar watch. Okay. They go, we'll give you, I'm not sure of the number, we'll give you six hundred dollars cash and hold your thousand dollar watch as collateral. So if you don't come back with the six with the six hundred, but now you have to come I'm making money. I'm covered because I have a thousand dollars of your But don't you have to come back and you're paying more than six hundred, right? I would assume. Can you find out the the typical return what the VIG is on a pawn shop? Yeah, there's gotta be a VIG. 
Oh, for sure. Otherwise, they wouldn't make any money. So let's say you, you come back and return six sixty. Yeah. So that I, that is like uh, that now makes sense. That's a way to get cash. I'm going to buy something for a thousand. I'm going to buy a thousand dollar watch on my credit card. Go pawn it for six hundred bucks. I got six hundred bucks. Then when I get paid in two weeks, put it back on the I, credit card. I go back. In New York, you're allowed to charge a maximum interest rate of four percent per month. That's cheap money per month. That's cheaper than the banks. Four percent. You can't get a mortgage at four percent. No. That's crazy. Uh, but then this is that's saying, cheaper than fucking credit cards too. That's cheaper than a cash advance. Well, but this is in a different state. A pawn shop charged twenty to twenty five percent interest. <laughs> Jesus, that's guy. That's that's. That's right. their problem. <laughs> hey, buddy, move. So you're talking. Well, about. I can tell you that's why you don't see pawn shops in NYC very much. You don't, sure, right? Sure, not anymore. A law and old law and orders. There was a lot. They were finding a lot of leads and getting a lot of guns and jewelry there. A lot of guys that didn't want to talk. But yeah, you probably can't afford to keep it. See how many pawn shops are are, are in Manhattan? Or just throw it in like the, the in the in a Google search bar there. That's crazy. Four percent. But that makes sense to me. That I mean, the whole scam makes sense. That's that's high level scamming, right? That's high level plate spinning. I like. So it. let me see. You buy a thousand dollar watch. It was like twelve. That's not that many. No. We should go to. They have so much. Shit. I would love to go to. I don't think I've ever really been to a pawn shop. Let's like do that. it. I used to buy DVDs at the pawn shop. Really? Oh yeah. Whew. I used to love Pawn Stars, dude. I loved, loved, loved that show. Loved Except for it. Rick's laughing at everything. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's got heater voice. Heavy heater voice. He does. Mr. Harrison. Uh, um. So hold on. You buy a watch for $1,000 on credit card. Mm -hmm. You're still spent no money. Nope. Right? Nope. You, well, you spent $1,000 on the credit but, card. That's still on credit card. That's still at the end of the that's, month. That's floating. That's fucking in the wind. That doesn't matter. No, but, but then you got to be out. How's this math where you got to be out 400 bucks at the end of this? Why? So you buy it. Well, hold on. Let me think. You buy a watch for $1,000, uh -huh. right? You go, and I, I don't know. I doubt they give you brand new value dollars. So it's like, we'll give you $700. You get $700 cash. You now have oh, $700 cash. Yeah. Okay, this is great. You return in two weeks. You owe them seven fifty. But then you got to no, pay eight forty. Eight forty. But then you have to pay a thousand on the. You have to pay the credit card back a thousand dollars. Yeah, and then you have a watch. Oh, maybe. Or you, do you return it? You return the watch. Whoa, that's what you. Do. I'm gonna need more information. You return, Brendan. I'm gonna need more information on how this scam. Hang on yeah, a second. What works. Did, what did you pawn? Wait. How much did you get? Yeah, I need and to know how the much, numbers. And how much did you clear at the end? I got it. Thousand dollar watch. You buy it on your credit card. You bring it to the pawn place. You pawn it. They give you six hundred dollars. At the end of the week, you're gonna owe seven. Just say seven. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you have the six hundred dollars. You spend the six hundred dollars. Now you, you get, get paid. Hold on. You get paid. You go and you pay seven. So you're losing a hundred bucks on it. Yeah, but you, now you have a thousand dollar bill. You have a thousand dollar watch that you then take in return. And that's, you're out clean. That that would have to be the only way it makes sense. So you got six hundred dollars for a hundred dollars. It cost you a hundred of the price of doing business. If it's that type of vig, this, this guy's good. check engine light is on. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's smoking with. He's hot boxing cigs. But too. he's he's making it work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it's knocking, but it's getting him there. Which I fucking respect. And dude. what if you have something in the house of value where you could just you could just keep doing that? Yeah, you? because the the. The the pawn at the end of the day, I don't think the they just want the vig. They want the vig. That's probably where they're or making. Or they the hope money. you don't pay. Yeah, but a lot of times, then they got to sit on a fucking watch for seven months and try sure. to sell that. Then they go, "Hey, it's a thousand dollar watch. We can sell it for eight. I sat. And also, if and you then, think about it, they, they probably do a lot of stuff on eBay now. And then you're sure. you're losing money on your the commissions and shipping. And like what I learned from Pawn Stars, that's a financial service business. They're in the money lending. The 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 longer they have a thousand dollars invested in a watch sitting in pawn a drawer or sitting on a even if you don't come back and get the watch so now he goes okay great I have a I have a thousand dollar watch if he sits on that for five months that's a thousand dollars that's sitting there that he's not that he can't lend out again you see what I'm saying that he can't lend out again why 
Because it's he's, si- a, he's got $1,000 invested in that. He's got in, uh, he's got a lot of inventory, which is money, sitting there that he then can't. If he sells that watch for $1,000, he now has $1,000 cash he can lend and make more money on. Ah, See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, uh, I did learn something, too. All pawn logos have three dots on it. Do you notice that in the, when you look it up? Why? It's the, it's, it's, it goes all the way back to, like, uh, like, like uh, it's like a Greek gold symbol. Gold rush, dot, dot, dot. No, it's like uh, we'll have uh, I know way too much about fucking pawn stars. That it's an old. The pawn broker symbol That's is weird. three golden balls suspended from a bar. The three ball symbol may be directly attributed to the Medici family of Florence, Italy, owning Whoa. its symbolic meaning in heraldry. The Medici the, dates all the way back. Wow, those dudes were banging. Yeah, they were banging. Uh huh. They funded the Renaissance. You know how they did that? Cash. Watches. Bank? No, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Pawn and watches. <laughs> Bunch of dirtbags needed cash for yeah, the weekend. Golf clubs and electric guitars. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go. Jimmy Hendrix played that. <laughs> you want to go where? Florence, Italy? Let's go. No, I want to go to a pawn shop. Fine. I've never been. Let's do it. We were never a pawn we family. We could go to a nice one in Jersey like we did with the... Um, Storage unit. There's probably a nice, nice, there's probably a big, nice pawn shop out in Jersey. Yeah, you got any old swords or anything you're trying to move? They let you film in there or anything? Well, maybe we should all do that. We should find one thing we have that we want to pawn. No, we're not getting them. We'll sell it to them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, not pawn it. Sell it. Yeah, we'll sell it off to them. I have an armor, a knight of armor. That one? <laughs> yeah. I turn around and go, <laughs> the hell? Bunch of camera equipment you boys might be interested in. <laughs> <laughs> this nice dining room table. Mm-hmm. Get a nice vig on that. Um, all right. And speaking of cash as well, this one's this guy's name's Foley's Off Medicine. Hello. Ten ten dollars shareholder. On medicine. Ten dollars shareholder. Um, is it trashy to use a drive up ATM? I know it's usually in a classier areas, but I always feel no, like garbage no, waiting no, in no, line no, versus no, going no. into the bank slash vestibule no. and feeling like a distinguished gentleman. I'm pulling out 40 bucks here. Dude, no. Sitting in your car waiting to use it seems weird, it's right? It's crazy. I do miss the uh, the drive through banking where you put it in the tube and it goes up. Now, Patty what, was big on oh, that. Oh, we were big on that. Now, what was the etiquette of this? My dad was heavy on that, right? Yeah. And we always had to, we always, we had, to have cash to pay guys for side work and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You know, so it was a lot, of, a lot of getting cash. And I was always taught you had to have the slip filled out already. You can't go there and go, I need a deposit slip. And then they got to send the deposit. Okay. You fill it out. You don't know your number. Like, I remember Patty always filling it out in the car. Yeah. I think the standard process was you should have that ahead of time. What? You go to the bank at some point and get a bunch of them. Because I was doing that a lot at my bank. I was because I was a lazy asshole. Mm-hmm. And the lady's like, I'll just start giving you deposit slips. I'll send out a bunch. Yeah, because I was pulling up going, can you send me a deposit slip? <laughs> and like, there's like a Had line. Two beat. lollipops. Oh, uh, dude, I, I love the lollipop. I was going to say, there's something about that tube where the compression of the air makes the lollipop it's sweeter. Great. It's a little cold in there. It's, it's great. Uh-huh. It was great. Yeah, I love that thing. And also, too, it keeps you off the radar a little bit. There's not a lot of questions going on in there. What do you mean? When you're in the car. There's no cameras on you. You're saying they play it fast and loose around the tubes. I'm saying they play it fast and loose around the tubes. There's, there's a certain, you're in a certain position of authority. Come on, I'm in a hurry. I'm in the car. I'll give you that. Yeah, it's also, in there. Also, too, if shit hits the fan, you can be out. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why they Sir, got... Sir, you don't look like a Patty Foley. Yeah. Arr, That's probably lady. why they got rid of that. <laughs> one, one, wait security. a second, and you hear tires screeching. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let me get once, the man. Yeah. Once, they, once they pull over an associate, you know you're jammed yeah. up. Oh, I used to hate that. They called somebody over. That was never going to work out. <laughs> my lunch hour's up. My dad's mad. I got to go. <laughs> yeah. That's I was funny. never here. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, but the drive up ATM, I don't think I ever really used. No. I don't think I've ever used it once. That's how they get you. Uh, I wouldn't trust that. As far as you could throw it. Also, being where we're from in the uh, Philadelphia area, Wawa was the ATM because there was no surcharge. So regardless mm-hmm. of your bank, it was like I didn't have to drive out and find a TD. Mm-mm. And I'm hitting a Wawa every, probably every day, but if not anyway. every day, 
four or five days a week to get coffee, heaters, lunch. So you're like, I'll wait and I'll you'll always hit it at Wawa. Plus the cash at Wawa was always a little bit crisper. I don't know why. All clean. <laughs> also a little dirty. Those twenties were all right. Uh -huh. Man. Ain't nothing wrong with a it. Cup of coffee and a sizzly, walk out of there with like four hundred bucks in your pocket. Feeling like a god four hundred bucks. Fresh pack. Would you knock the joint over? What are you talking about? Four hundred bucks. Get all out. That was a sixty man. Cash on <laughs> I'm like forty and tens. <laughs> Man, if they, 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 you know you're in a bad ATM when they say, do you want, when it's like, we give tens. Uh-huh. Hmm. My bodega, like, my, my my bodega when I lived at Temple did fives. Man, spending seven fifty to get five bucks, you know you're Yikes. jammed up for a pack of Skeeters. Because <laughs> I would have, like, $9 or... $10 minimum at the bodega. <laughs> yeah, so, well, this is back when... Bod Remember when bodegas didn't accept credit cards? Yeah. That was like, we lived up here where they would be like, ah, no, 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 no. Now it's like, and then there was a $10 minimum or a whatever. Now That's people, gone. people are swiping and they don't even ask for cash anymore. They go, you're buying like a dollar, two fifty for a water. Like they go, they just start plugging it in the machine and turn the machine and go tap. Yeah. They don't even go cash nothing. Yeah, because they would be out of business. Yeah, it was the same thing with cabs. Cabs didn't want to take the cards back. I remember the when either. they put them in. They yeah. put you would get in and they go, they're broken, they're broken. I go, and then you learned you're you're not allowed out on the street mm -mm. unless it's working. And they can't refuse uh, service to not take you somewhere. Yeah, but they do. How they do? Yeah, I mean, especially now they're playing. They they play by their own rules. I was with Danny Danny P the other night, uh -huh. and we were going to uh, at that Williamsburg Comedy Club, sure. uh, and. I got a car, and he's like, "Why don't you just get a yellow cab?" I'm like, a yellow cab? Yeah. Damn, forgot my I forgot my fucking hazmat suit at home there, big guy. What are you nuts? I got fucking shows to do. Shout out to Danny. Yeah, but we gotta wrap it up, gang. Gang, we love you to death. Oh, Tampa. Yeah. yeah, this Atlanta. weekend. Atlanta, well, we're here this weekend. You can smell us and the bus, baby. Friday night we'll be in Tampa at the Tampa Theater, and mm -hmm. Saturday night we'll be over there in Atlanta, Georgia. There's still some tickets left. Do yourself a favor, grab them. We can't wait to see you guys. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.